Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 497. Only three away from 500. We just hit 1,700 subscribers. Thank you, everybody who has subscribed. Today's category will be Brainy Tuesday, number 15. These questions are a little bit harder than the normal trivia quiz, so good luck. Question 1. In 1935, a series of laws was promulgated there excluding Jews from citizenship. And in 1946, in what German town did the surviving leaders of the Third Reich get condemned for crimes against humanity? Those trials were in Nuremberg. Question 2. The Inland Sea is the subtitle for what 1840 James Fenimore Cooper novel in his pentology of novels known as the Leather Stocking Tales, which features Natty Bumpo. The answer is the Pathfinder. Question 3. Designed to hold oil or wine, what was the name for the tall, ancient Greek or Roman jar or jug with two handles and a narrow neck that were usually painted in red on black or black on red? Those jugs were called amphora. Question 4. Although Einstein is best known for his theories of relativity, he won the Nobel Prize in 1923 for his exploration of what effect that is produced when electrons strike metallic surfaces. That effect is known as the photoelectric effect. Question number five. Although Mardi Gras is most commonly associated with New Orleans, Louisiana, its American origins can be traced back to the early 1700s in what Alabama city 150 miles to the east of New Orleans? The answer is Mobile. Question 6. On what Japanese island does Mount Suribachi loom as a testament to the Earth's volcanic past and to the men who died there in February and March of 1945? Mount Suribachi is located on Iwo Jima. Question number seven. Harvard was originally built in 1636 to train clergymen and is often regarded as the oldest institution of higher learning in the world. But what Ivy League school was originally built in 1769 for the education of American Indians? The name of that school was Dartmouth College. Question 8. A work that cynically suggested cannibalism as a solution for Ireland's overpopulation and hunger problems, A Modest Proposal was one of the more famous works by what author who also wrote Gulliver's Travels? The answer is Jonathan Swift. Question 9. In Mexico, 
A different name is used for the river separating Mexico from the United States than the one America uses. What is the Mexican name of this almost 2,000 mile long river? In America, it's called the Rio Grande. In Mexico, it's called Rio Bravo. Question 10. What is the name of the remarkably detailed census compiled in England and parts of Wales in 1085 and 1086 by the order of King William the Conqueror? The answer is the Domesday Book. Question number 11. What is the chain of 55 beads called that is used in the Roman Catholic Church as a memory aid to those reciting prayers like the Paternoster and the Ave Maria? That chain of beads is called a rosary. Question number 12. Some American states have laws that prohibit making membership in a union a necessary condition of employment. What is the legal term for such a law? It is called a right-to-work law. Question 13. In 1966, Ron Karinga reinvented what Christmas time holiday which he claimed was derived from the African celebrations of the first fruit of the harvest. The answer is Kwanzaa. Question 14. The Miller, the Prioris, the Canon's Yeoman, and the Wife of Bath all have stories to tell in what Middle English long poem written in 1392 by Geoffrey Chaucer? The answer is the Canterbury Tales. Question 15. Living near Bryantown, Maryland in April of 1865, what was the name of the country doctor who turned himself into the police and spent four years in prison for setting the broken leg of John Wilkes Booth? His name was Dr. Samuel Mudd. Question 16. American film actress Grace Kelly became Princess Grace of Monaco in April of 1956 through a marriage to what man, the prince of that tiny country? His name was Prince Rainier III. Question 17. According to legend, it was founded in 753 BC. What historically significant city grew in a geographically advantageous area that made it hard for enemies to attack and came to be known as the City of Seven Hills? The answer is Rome. Question 18. 
What chemical element was named after the Titan who, in Greek mythology, was chained to a rock and daily had his liver eaten by an eagle, which has an atomic number of 61? The answer is Prometheum, named after Prometheus. Question 19. After a small town is rocked by the violent murder of the Clutter family, the murderers attempt to escape arrest in a cross-country journey. What semi-historical book by Truman Capote describes these events? That book was titled, In Cold Blood. Question 20. The Man of Destiny was the name given to what leader of the Free French Forces during World War II who later founded and became the President of the Fifth Republic? I believe that's who Paris's main airport is named after, Charles de Gaulle. All right, that is it for today's trivia. Thank you to everybody watching and thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. Like I said at the beginning, we just hit 1,700 subscribers. That's huge. This time last year, we had less than 65 subscribers. So we're growing very quickly. Very happy with the progress of the channel. We've been getting tons of ideas about how to do the quizzes, ideas for the format of the quizzes, and a lot of category suggestions. We love them all. You're more than welcome to email us anything at roadtrivia at gmail.com all one word very easy to remember just look at the title of the channel at the end of this week will be episode number 500 that means 500 straight days in a row we've posted a brand new 20 or 21 question trivia quiz this week will be episode 500 we'll be celebrating it with a 50 question quiz about partying and drinking and bar trivia um, some of the potent potable questions from Jeopardy quiz you're gonna love it episode 500 coming up this Friday we will also have an update on the intro challenge from last month it's very close at the top a is in the lead but there are several letters even halfway through the alphabet that are right on its tail so anything could happen in the last few weeks of the competition keep an eye on it we'll keep you updated here is question 21 today, the tiebreaker. What are the names of North America's five great lakes? You must know all five for them to count. Time's up. The answer, the five great lakes are superior, Huron, Michigan, Erie, and Ontario. If you didn't get all five, it doesn't count. Thank you for watching today. Check back tomorrow. Have a great week. And subscribe if you like daily trivia.